Good morning. What are you doing? Are you waiting to go into therapy? Good morning. Don't put that in your mouth. Hey guys, and good morning. Welcome to another Vlogmas vlog. It is currently 11:45 on Friday. I am sitting in front of Madison's therapy. She usually doesn't get therapy on Fridays anymore because her days did switch, but her Monday session she did not get because her therapist was out, so she is making up for it today. So I will be here for 30 minutes and then we have a ton of things to do after. Um, I'm probably only gonna be able to do one errand before I have to go get Ryan from school. I'll probably go get some lunch and then run to Walmart. I wanted to go to Walmart for two reasons. One, I wanna film my shop with me there. And then also I want to see what Christmas sweaters they have. And if they have any cute ones, I will grab one from there. If not, then I'm gonna go back to TJ Maxx or Marshalls and grab one of the ones I saw from there because they had a ton of really cute ones as well, but I still want to look around. So yeah, that is what the plan is. And then after I pick up Brian from school, I'm gonna go grocery shopping and then I gotta get gas again. And then what else? And then I got a ton of cleaning to do when I get home. I have laundry. I have to pick up the living room, the play area. I got to put away dishes. So I have a ton of things to do today. I feel like I never have enough time in one day, but that is what the plan is for today. So maybe I will vlog a little bit when I go in to Walmart, even though I'll be filming a shop with me. Maybe I'll just vlog a few clips once we get in there, but I am going to hang out in the car for a few more minutes and then I'm gonna grab Madison. So I will see you guys in a little. I'm back home, but I had to leave like in five minutes to pick up Brian from school. But I wanted to show you super fast the mascara that I was talking to you about earlier. And it is the brand called Simply Naked Beauty. And this is their 3D fiber mascara. Came with the gel and the fiber. Then it came with this pamphlet and it's three steps. It shows you all three steps on how to apply the mascara the correct way. Just some like tips and tricks. And then it came in this really cute case. And this case looks like an eyeglass case. And then in the front, it says SNB, super cute. And then when you open it, they do have this like little spoolie so you can brush your eyelashes just in case it gets too clumpy. And then it has the gel and the fiber in here. And it has like these little straps right here to hold both the mascaras in. And like I said, I did apply it this morning, but I did not take my time. I was in a rush, so I did it super quickly and I got all over my eyelids and I wasn't even able to get off my eyelids. For some reason, it was not coming off very easily, so I just gave up on trying to get it off my eyelids. But like I said, this one I did three coats and then this one I only did two coats because I was in a rush, but I do like how it looks especially this one. This one looks very full and long. So I am going to apply it again tomorrow and actually take my time when I'm applying it. So I'll insert a clip of me applying it tomorrow when I'm taking my time and show you guys how it turns out. But so far, I like it. It applies very easily. The only thing is the fiber, there is a lot of fallout with the fiber, but if you've ever used a fiber mascara, that is normal for you to have fallout. So it's the only complaint I really have. And then also, I'm just a messy person when it comes to applying mascara. And it got all over my eyelid. And I wasn't able to get it off my eyelid. Usually, I'm able to just like scrape the mascara off my eyelid. But for some reason, I was having a little more trouble taking it off my eyelid with this. But I can easily just put a little bit of makeup remover and remove it. But I didn't have time for that. So that's why you guys see a little bit on my eyelids. But I do like it. Like I said, um, I am going to try it again tomorrow. Show you guys how it works out and my final thoughts on it after I wear it all day today and then again tomorrow. So it'll be a total of two days of me wearing this mascara. And also I wanna be honest with you guys, I will always be honest with you guys when I am showing you guys a product, like a product review. I am not sponsored by this company at all. So I'm not going to be getting paid to film this review for you guys. But I do have a partnership with this company and that means if you guys use my promo code, then I will get a small percentage from that sale. So I just wanted to let you guys know in advance that if you use my promo code, yes, I will get a small commission from that sale. But anyways, I am going to wear it for the entire day and then use it again tomorrow and actually apply it nicely and take my time. And then at the end of tomorrow, I will let you guys know my final thoughts and how I like it. And then I'll let you guys know the price. I haven't looked up the price since it was sent to me. I'm not sure how much it is, 
but I will enter it into the screen here. But all the information is going to be linked down below. But anyways, I need to stop talking. I need to go put in one load of laundry and then go get Ryan from school and then go grocery shopping and wish me luck because Madison is extremely cranky. She's been crying. So don't know if I'm able to get a lot done today, but anyways, I'm gonna put my sweater on because it's freezing outside and head out. So I will see you guys once I pick up Ryan from school. What are you doing? Washing Madison. You're taking Sophia a bath? Are you helping her? Yep. Does she smell delicious? Did you take yourself a bath too? What? You took yourself a bath too? Yeah. You're such a great big brother. So as you guys can see, I am now back home. I picked up Brian from school and then we went to the grocery store and now we're back home. The kids are in the bath. I'm gonna let them play in the bath for a little bit longer, but um, after I take them a bath, I'm going to try this shirt on for you guys. So I found um, another Christmas sweater at Walmart. So I bought it. I don't know how it's going to look because I did not try it on. Madison was super cranky, so I couldn't go in the fitting room to try it on. But I'm going to try it on now. I got a medium because I like my shirts to be oversized. I'm hoping that it'll be long enough to maybe wear with leggings. If not, I'll just wear it with some jeans. But I'm going to try it on for you guys and show you guys, see how how it looks on if i don't like it then i will just bring it back and no no more soap buddy um i'll try it on if i don't like how it looks then i'm going to bring it back and then go to marshall's and tj maxx they both had really nice sweaters but this is the sweater that i found and it says the struggle is real and then santa claus can't fit down the chimney and then it has bells and then it has those little ornaments i thought that was cute so that's what I chose. So I'm gonna try that on and show you guys how it looks. I also need to get dinner ready. I also wanna paint my nails. I have to fold laundry, which I might do a laundry chat because I did film one laundry chat before for you guys a few weeks ago and you guys seemed to like it. So I think I might film another one as long as Madison lets me. And then what else? I want to do something else. Oh, the other thing I wanted to do was start doing the saran wrap um, for the Christmas party. We're gonna be playing a game where there's like gifts wrapped in saran wrap. So I should probably start doing that. Although I still have a few things to buy for that, but I'll probably get that started as well. I'm gonna finish getting the kids out of the bath and then I will pick up the camera again a little bit later. All right guys, so I just tried on this ugly Christmas sweater from Walmart. So the weird thing about this is the arms fit so tight. Like I feel like it's so tight, but then everything else, if it's like fine, although I do wish it would be a little bit longer, but the arms are so tight so i think i'm gonna bring it back and see if i can get a large and see how the large fits because it is cute i like it it's just the arms are so tight and it's uncomfortable so that's how it looks i will flip the camera around too so you guys can see but that's how it looks on it's super cute i i like it but the arms are so tight so let me flip the camera around and show you guys how it looks in the mirror okay, so this is how it looks in the mirror when i flip the camera around so you guys can see the front view but I like it. It's cute. The only two things I wish is that I wish it was a little bit longer, like the length. And then I also wish that the arms weren't so tight. It's so weird because everything else fits good. It's loose, but the arms are so tight, you guys. Maybe I just have big arms. I don't know. But yeah, that's how it looks. I like it. So like I said, I'm going to bring it back, see if I can get a large. If I can't get a large, then that's fine. I'll just keep the medium and just go with it. What are you doing? So, now probably I won't wear it with jeans. I'll probably, I have um black pants. Definitely can't wear these with leggings. So I have black pants. So I think I'm gonna wear it with um, a pair of black pants and then maybe some like boot heels. I have some boots that have like a little heel on it. So I think I might do that. So do you like it, Maddie? Do you like mommy's ugly Christmas sweater? Oh no, why is it so bright? Do you like it? Now I gotta go get some dinner for you. <laughs> what are you doing? Singing the Grinch. Song. Oh, can you sing it to us? We want to hear it. Sing it. I, I want to tell you something real quick. What? I'll make a train track for this for my train. Oh, okay. And I look at it. That's a good train track. It can be anyway. <laughs> Mr. Grinch. Tell me, 
Ouch! <laughs> You're like a stinky banana with a greasy black beard. I want to That, that's good. Good job. Amazon Prime from Whole Foods. Love getting groceries at your doorstep. is a little far for us so we usually order it on Amazon Prime but they were out of all of our meats so we have to order again next week so we didn't get any of our chicken but we did get our ground turkey and then we got these hot dogs I usually get these hot dogs for the kids we got some green beans what's in here a cucumber we got some asparagus and these chicken tenders are so good, you guys. These are coconut breaded chicken breast tenders. They are so good. I got a bag of apples because the kids seriously go through an entire bag of apples in one week. And then Brazzy Bites. If you guys have not tried these, you need to. They taste so good. And then Robert got a cupcake. All right, this lighting sucks, but you guys can think I'm crazy. I need to run out to the grocery store super fast because I forgot to buy rotisserie chicken. So I went to the grocery store earlier but I forgot to grab rotisserie chicken for dinner tonight and I really wanted some. So I'm gonna run and go get some. I know I just showed you guys a little mini haul from um, Whole Foods and I went to the grocery store earlier, but that is my life. I forget things and I could totally just like quickly defrost some chicken, but it's already after six o'clock and I don't feel like defrosting chicken right now. So I'm gonna run to the grocery store and I'll probably walk around for a few minutes just because I don't have the kids with me. I'm by myself, so. Grocery store run, just me. I'm gonna go down every aisle and look at everything. No, I probably won't, but maybe I'll go through the Christmas aisle. And then, I don't know. Um, I think I might buy a bottle of wine for the Christmas party. Next week, I was gonna go to the liquor store to buy it, but I think at Kroger, I saw they had some of their wine on sale. So I'll see what wine they have, but I'm gonna start driving. So I'll see you guys in a few. So I am in the candle section of, um, Kroger. I want to show you guys. I think I show you guys this every time I come, but the candles are on sale again for, they say $7.99, but this cinnamon spice one, it smells so good. You guys have to try it out if you guys have a Kroger near you, but I, they say $7.99, but I'm pretty sure they ring up for $5 because I just got one last week and it was $5. And then these are super cute as well. And these are on sale for $6.39. This one is shimmering holiday spice. And then they have a winter spring fur one. So what's this one? They have another one. Relaxing snow day. And these all smell really good. They have a lot of stuff on sale. They also have essential oils on sale. So these are $3.19. This sweet orange one. And then they have it in cedar wood. I've never tried <clears throat> any other essential oils, even though I have an oil diffuser. But I'm not gonna grab any of those. And then they also have these candles never tried any of these though but they have these and those are $7.99 and guys look how cute this is so cute this is one of the wax warmers it was originally 20 so I'm still for $15.99 little snowman and then they have the ones that you can like put in your bathroom they have this piece one then this snowman but I've been in this section for like a good 15 minutes but I'm going to head out now as Robert's probably wondering where I am. I grabbed a bottle of wine for the 
girls night and I already have one bottle of red wine so I grabbed a large bottle of white wine and then on the day of the party I had to go to the liquor store to buy stuff for um, the margarita I'm gonna be making a cranberry Christmas margarita so I've never had that but it sounded like it would be good but anyways I'm gonna head out everyone's staring at me so See you guys, guys so it is now the following day and I did not finish vlogging it yesterday because I just got caught up doing a bunch of other things I did not film my laundry chats video I did not do my nails and I did not do the saran wrap but I'm gonna do all that today and then I'm also going to try to film a clean with me video I'm not sure if I'll be able to do that but I'm gonna try to get a ton done today but I just wanted to jump on here super fast to close out the vlog since I did not end it and I'll also show you guys my eyelashes so today I did take my time I don't know if you guys can tell a difference from yesterday um yeah I suck at applying mascara so I did get it on my eyelids but it was pretty easy to get off I just took a little makeup q-tip and I was able to scrape it off so that came off super easily and yesterday it was also really easy to wash off so i'd recommend taking a warm um damp like washcloth and then just applying it on your eyelashes and then the mascara would come off but i didn't do that i just washed my face how i usually do and it came off so i didn't have to do the whole warm damp washcloth but i like it like i said last night i wore all day or not last night yesterday i wore all day i put it on in the morning until the nighttime i took it off around nine o'clock when i took a shower and i didn't have like any transfer it wasn't like black underneath my eye it didn't flake and also what i really like about it is that it doesn't like dry where it's like super hard and crispy it's like soft so i really like that as well so i would give this mascara a thumbs up if you guys are interested in trying this out or looking into it yourself i will leave all of the information down in my description box along with my promo code you can get i believe 10 percent off your purchase if you decide to purchase this mascara i believe they have other stuff i think they have like some type of serum or something to put on your eyelashes to help it grow longer which i'm probably going to look into buying because i want something to help my eyelashes grow longer so i'm gonna look into that one i didn't get that i just got the mascara but i like it but yeah i just wanted to share with you guys give you guys a little update and just close out this vlog. I'm gonna try to vlog again sometime this week um, and also film my Walmart shop with me. I did not do my Walmart shop with me yesterday when I went to Walmart because you guys, it was like Black Friday in there. It was so overly crowded and packed and I don't know about you, but I'm still not completely comfortable with vlogging in a public. So if there's just like one or two people around me, then I'm okay with pulling out my camera. But when it's a lot of people and it's a crowd, I just feel super uncomfortable and awkward. So I didn't even try to attempt to try to film because every aisle is super packed. So I'm gonna go this week to a different Walmart where it's usually not as packed and then also go super early in the morning so I can film that video for you guys because I know you guys really want it a Walmart shop with me. So I will definitely do that next week. But as always, I just want to say thank you so much for watching today's video. If you have not already, I would love for you to subscribe and join my YouTube family. Also give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and turn on your notification bell and I will see you guys next time. Bye.